What are badges and how do we use them on our Premium Press website? Well, let me show you how. In front of me, we have one of the Premium Press themes. This is the auction theme, but the badges option is available on all of the Premium Press themes. So from the admin area, we click on dashboard, I click on Premium Press, and we can manage badges under the actual listing options here. So in this case, I am using the auction theme, so it's called auction settings. This will change depending on the theme you're using. So it might be called profile settings in the dating theme, uh, listing settings in the directory theme, etc. The section we're gonna be using this section here called badges. So if we click on this, we have a number of different options. So these are sample badges that come installed with the theme, just to give you an, ex uh, an example and an idea how to use them. Let me show you where they're displayed first. So if we go ahead and preview my website, as you can see, the badges are visible on the actual items or what we call search cards. So if I click on the search page, so as you can see this gold badge here, which is the first one at the top here, this is visible on all of my search cards. And it's visible because I've selected this option called show on search card. If I untick this, save my settings, give the page a refresh, as you can see now, they're no longer visible on the actual search card. Now, if I click on any of the actual um, example auctions I've got here, we can see the badges are displayed at the top here. And this is because I've enabled it for this specific auction. So if I edit this auction, as you can see here, the option to turn on and off uh, per auction is here. So I just turn all these off. I can leave this awesome one on just to quickly show you. Save my changes, preview the listing, and as you can see now, the only badge I have is this auction badge. So let's go ahead and create our own badge. So again, from the admin area, we click on an auction settings. We're clicking on badges and I'm click add new. So I'll just give it a name, testing. Okay, save my changes. Okay, so the new badges are added to the bottom. So I can give it a color. So I'm just gonna give this one a, ooh, I don't know, a pink one or a purple one. Okay, close this one. I can choose my text color and I can choose my icon. So I'm just gonna give an icon and then I save my changes. Okay, we'll scroll down again. As you can see, this is my new badge. Now I'm not so worried about what it looks like. It's only for testing purposes. I am gonna turn on this option here called show on search card. And you'll notice if I hover over it, there's no actual description. If I add a description, so I'll do a just testing description. Save my changes again, scroll down. You can see if I hover over the badge, I can choose and display the description. So again, I'm gonna turn on this on my search card, save my changes, go back to my website, let's view the search page. Okay, you can see by default, it's not applied to any of the options because I haven't actually applied it to this listing. If I, for example, then go ahead and click on auction one. If I edit this auction, I can then choose it to be displayed on this listing. So I would then select it here and save the changes. And now if I refresh the actual search page, you can see only this listing that I've chosen to have this badge is now visible. And it's the same concept if I click on view the auction itself, only the badges that I've chosen to be displayed on this listing will be displayed. So I have awesome and testing, and those are the two badges I have. So that's the great thing about badges. You can choose which listings display what badges. So you can add lots and lots of badges specific to your website, specific to certain listings on your website, and then choose the listings which it's displayed on. So there we go, a very quick tutorial on adding badges to your website. Badges can be really fun and I hope you enjoy using them. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. See you again, and bye for now.